and welcome to Go Grammar Go, specially brought to you by TV Pendidikan. As usual, Go Grammar Go will see two teams competing in four grammar games to get the highest points. So let's give a warm welcome to the two competing teams from Sekolah Menengah Kebangsaan Taman Tun Dr. Ismail Kuala Lumpur. We have the yellow team. Okay, and the team that is going to try and beat them is the green team from Sekolah Menengah Kebangsaan Subang Utama, Selangor. SMK Taman Tun Dr. Ismail is represented by Hishamuddin Omar. Hi. Nka Ho. Hi. And Shireen Kukrija. Hello, welcome. And the members of the green team from SMK Subang Utama are Tan Ying Kwan. Hello. Nazir Akma. Hi. And Ganesha Priya. Hello. Welcome. And to all our viewers, welcome to Go So teams, are you ready? Yes. 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 Okay. okay. We are going to begin Go Grammar Go with a game called Words in Action. We are talking about action words. We also call them verbs. Verbs tell us what people, animals or things do. Uh, verbs can show actions in the past, present or future. Okay, so the yellow team will go first and Hishamuddin, you have the honour of being the first player. Okay. Are you ready? Yes, I am. Okay, when you hear the buzzer, you'll have 60 seconds to read, decide on the best answer and uh, drag five answers from the box to complete all the sentences. And each correct answer earns you five points. Any incorrect or blank answer gets you no points. Yes. Okay? So are you ready? Yes, Come on sir. over here, please. All right. Okay, we'll begin at the sound of the buzzer. 60 seconds from now. try and outdo the yellow team mm -hmm. and for that we have Ying Kwan. Are you ready? Yes I am. Do you understand the rules? Yes. Okay come on over here please. Are you as nervous as Shisha? I think so. <laughs> <laughs> okay we'll start at the sound of the buzzer. 60 seconds from now. for the yellow team and 25 points for the green team as well. Okay, well done. 
So, contestants, are you all ready for the next game? Yes. 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 Shireen? Yes. Okay, all right. For the next game, we will have contestant number two from... The green team. The green team, Nazero. Okay, so our next game is called Names, Names, Names. Now, we're talking about nouns. Nouns are the names of people, animals, things or places. of 10 questions and in 60 seconds you have to try and answer all of them. If you don't know the answer you say next and he'll move on to the next question. So the faster you answer each one of them the more chances of you having uh, answering all the 10 questions. Now each answer gets you 5 points mm, the questions will not be repeated. So once you say next it will be repeated again okay? Right. the buzzer will mark the start and the end of the game. Are you ready? Yes. Okay, we'll start at the, end, at the sound of the buzzer. 60 seconds from now. Nazero, a male chicken is called a rooster. What do we call a male swan? Great. A shark is a fish. What is a black widow? I don't know. Okay. A person who makes and repairs locks is called a locksmith. What do we call a person who makes or repairs iron objects? Blacksmith. Okay. Your cousin's mother's father is your grand uncle in which country is the grand canyon found united states of america screwdrivers and hammers are called tools what do we call pots and pans crockery a triangle has three sides name the shape with six sides hexagon a baby whale is called a calf oh time is up Okay, let's check your answer. Number one, uh, the answer should have been called. Number two, correct. Number three is also correct. Number four, your cousin's mother's father is your grandfather. Okay, number five, correct. Number six, the answer should have been utensils. And number seven, correct. One, two, three, four. Four correct answers it means you have 20 points. Okay, well done, Nazero. Total points for the green team now is 45, 45 points. points. Well done. Okay. It's Sorry. back to the yellow team now, and it's um, Kaho's turn to try and outdo the green team score. So, do you still remember the rules, Kaho? Yes, I do. Okay, I know we read the questions to you at the sound of the buzzer. 60 seconds from now. A baby goose is called a gosling. What do we call baby swan? A uh, signet. An owl is a bird. What is a silver fish? A uh, insect. A person who treats our teeth is called a dentist. What do we call a person who treats skin diseases? Next. Your grandmother's brother's wife is your? Next. In which country is the Great Barrier Reef? Australia. Electrical equipment are called appliances. What do we call scientific equipment? Next. You hit a shuttlecock in a game of badminton. What do you hit in a game of ice hockey? A uh, hockey puck. A young lion is called a cub. What do we call a young elephant? A calf. Oranges are so associated with Chinese New Year. What fruit do we associate with Halloween? Pumpkins. What do we call a person who makes pots from clay? Potter. Okay, you've answered all ten questions. The first one and the second, you got it correct. The third one, a person who treats skin diseases, we call them dermatologists. Okay, now the fourth one, your grandmother's brother's wife is your grand aunt. Now the number five, you got it correct. Number six, uh, scientific equipment apparatus. Number seven, eight, nine and ten, you got it correct. So you've got seven correct answers. 35 points. Okay, well done. Well done. Well done, girl. <laughs> so the total okay, score, the total score for the yellow team is now 60 points. Okay, congratulations. Well done. Before we go on to the third game, let's look at the prizes for the winner and the runner-up. The prizes for this program are a dictionary, reference books and readers sponsored by Pearson Education Longman, Malaysia Sandian Bahad. 
your partner in education and hamper to brighten up your day sponsored by Smarties. Catering for this program is sponsored by the fish shop Sogo Kuala Lumpur. The runner-up will also receive books from Pearson Education, Longman, Malaysia, Syndrome, Berhad and a hamper from Smarties. Okay, now two games down and two more to go and it's all on... Go Demo Go! Now to continue with Go Grammar Go! Alright teams, now the third game is simply called Words That Describe. Um, Priya and Shireen. Now it, it's your turn and this is what game three is all about. Each of you have to look at four visuals on the screen in front of you and the screen behind me and unscramble the given letters to, to form either an adjective or adverb. Okay, it will describe the given picture. Now you have to spell out the word correctly and say it clearly. You are given only 15 seconds for each visual and remember the words given to you are either adjective or adverb. Okay, five points will be awarded to you for each correct answer and we'll start with Shireen from Shireen. the yellow team. Yellow team. Are you ready? Yes, I am. Okay. Now, we'll start at the sound of the buzzer, 60 seconds from now. Disappointed. D-I-S-S-A-P-P-O-I-N-T-E-D. Still have time? Wasteful. W-A-S-T-E. F U L. Okay, we will wait for the third visual. Hurry up. Oh, uh -huh. last one. Spotted. S P O T T E D. Okay, we'll accept that. Okay, now let's look at your answer. The first one, you spell it wrongly. Uh, disappointed is spelled with one S. You said two S, okay? So the second one, uh, correct, wasteful. The third should have been foamy. F O A M Y. And the last one was correct. So, 10 points for you. All right. Well done. Good. Okay, so the total score for the yellow team is now 70 points. Mm -hmm. Well done. Now, let's move on to the green team. Um, Priya. Priya. Do you still remember the rules? Yes, I do. Okay, now we'll start at the sound of the buzzer. 60 seconds from now. Significant S I S I G N I F I C A N T. The second one. One. Ah, oh, third oh, one. What's that one? Hurry up, Priya. Yeah. Six, 15 seconds only. Do you have any idea? No? Oh, the last one. Restless. R-E-S-T-L-E-S-S. -S. You sure? Okay, that's the time's up. Um, number one, the answer should have been fascinating. Number two, slender. Number three, foreign. Number four, you answered it correctly, you're restless. So, you've got one correct, means you have five points. Okay? okay. The total score for the green team now is 50 points. Well done. Okay. 
as you already know, there are some fantastic prizes to be won, and so far, the yellow team is in the lead with 70 points. Congratulations! And now for the final game. Okay, this is going to be teamwork to solve a crossword puzzle. Now, this is how it is played. Each team will draw a numbered ball from this bowl. The number will correspond to a number in the crossword on the screen behind me. And when the number is clicked on the puzzle, it will reveal the clue for that question. Okay, you then discuss it with your team members. Okay, decide on the answer and drag the letters from the box on the left of the puzzle to fill in the gaps. Now, each correct answer keyed in earns you five points. Now, if your answer is wrong, your opponents get to, uh, 20 seconds to complete it and steal your five points. Now, are you clear on the rules? Yes. Okay, now, right, the yellow team won the draw before this, the show, so they will go first. Are you ready? Okay, we'll start. Okay, Hisham. You start first. All right. Yellow team, ball number two. Number two, 60 seconds from now. Extreme. One yellow team. Okay, Kaho. Number six, 60 seconds from now. Not doing anything. Okay, nice zero. Kaho's turn now. Stir Kaho. Yes. Orange ball. Ball number four. Number four. 60 seconds from now. A fishing tool. Okay. Number one, 
60 seconds from now. Hold. Seconds for the yellow team, team from now. Shereen, you found? <laughs> oh, time is up. up. Never mind, we're going to look at the answer. It's support. Oh, nobody answered oh, okay. that. Okay. The yellow team's turn. Okay, Shireen. Okay, come on, start. Okay, the green ball. Ball number five. Number five, 60 seconds from now. Search thoroughly. I'm about to try. Okay. Wall number nine. Number nine, 60 seconds from now. Unpleasant. Yep. 
Time's up. 20 seconds for the green team from now. seconds from now. A like. seconds from now. In what type of writing can rhyming words and stanzas be found? The last one, I'll just take it for you. Okay, it's number three. Number three, 60 seconds from now. A sign of sadness. Okay, we'll check. It is correct. <laughs> So the green team answered three plus another three that you stole from the yellow team. So six all together, 30 points for you. Very good. Now the total score for the green team is 80 points. Well done. Okay, I know the yellow team answered two correct. That means you have 10 points. And the total score for the yellow team now is also six. 80 points. Okay. Well done. And from the final tally, I know we have a tie. Well, it looks like we have two first prize winners, mm -hmm. Her Herman. Okay. Congratulations, yeah. yellow and green team. Congratulations. Okay. Okay, we'd like to thank our sponsors, uh, Pearson Education Longman Malaysia Syndrome Berhad, Smarties, and the fish shop Sogo Kuala Lumpur. So that was the end of another series of Go Grammar Go. Bye bye for now. Don't forget to brush up on your English and tune in to Go Grammar Go. Go.